Facial aging, can we stop it? Can we slow it down? Can we even perhaps reverse it? Well, I'm gonna tell you what you can do and what will work in today's video. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. First, I wanna apologize if I'm a little shiny. I just did my quarterly peel that I do my deep skin peel, chemical peel. And so I'm a little shiny, crinkly, wrinkly, peely. I'm trying to make sure I don't have any flakes on my shirt before I did this video. But I wanted to do a video today for you guys anyway because this is such a big deal. I get this question over and over again. I think every esthetician out there, probably dermatologist, for anyone over 30, they start to worry about how their skin looks and the signs of aging, so I get it. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson. I'm a skincare expert of 34 years, about to be 35 years, and my job and the job of my channel is to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that's the type of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, please be sure and hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are up every week. Now, most of you guys know that I don't hide my age on the channel, I talk about how old I am because it is a way in giving you evidence of what good skin care can do for you. So as I approach my 58th trip around the sun in March, I'm going to keep talking about it. Ageism can suck it. Now first, let's talk about the obvious things and get them out of the way. Things I talk about on the channel all the time, like getting enough sleep, six to eight hours, making sure your diet is mostly sugar-free, or as sugar-free as you can make it, and leaning toward that healthier diet of fresh fruits and vegetables, and also limiting things like alcohol consumption, because that can lead to premature aging of the skin. So sleep, very, very important. We want to make sure that the skin is able to take advantage of the body's nighttime repair cycle. We want to make sure that we're getting enough nutrition and nutrients and minerals from the food that we eat so that we are producing healthier, longer living cells, you know, with a longer shelf life. And when it comes to things like alcohol, speaking of shelves, that should stay on the shelf mostly. And of course, not smoking. But beyond these lifestyle changes, there are some things you can do. Five of them that I'm going to give you here today that are the basics that really need to be happening in anyone's skincare routine over 30 to make sure that we're taking care of our skin and keeping it from aging faster than we are. First and foremost is being sure you're using the right cleanser. And I know I talk about this a lot, but just bear with me because it is such an important factor in how you set your skin up for the day and your sleep cycle at night so that it gets the maximum benefit from your products and your resting period. And that means using the right cleanser for the right skin type. Now, if you have normal to dry skin, a very hydrating, creamy type of cleanser is gonna be your best go-to. If you have oily skin, a clarifying foaming cleanser because you've got a little more oil going on, a little more dirt, bacteria probably down in the pores. We wanna cleanse that out. But for every skin type, we wanna make sure that the skin is refreshed after we cleanse it, not super dry and tight, which is indicative of the fact that you've stripped too much oil out of your skin. And for you guys with oily skin, it's just gonna turn on the oil jets and you're gonna make more. And for those of you with normal and dry skin, it's gonna dry out your skin, give you that coarse textured skin look, make your pores look larger and your skin more prone to irritation and extra dryness, things we don't want. So if your face wash is leaving your skin squeaky clean and tight, it's not the right face wash for you, you need to find another one. Now I will be talking about a few products in this video, not very many, but I will link to those products, including the type of face washes I usually recommend in the video description box below so you can check them out when you get a chance. The next thing that is super important to have in your skincare routine is a good vitamin C serum. Topical vitamin C is so important because it not only provides antioxidants to help the skin, it also helps protect your skin from UV light. It can help correct pigmentation issues like dark spots and brown patches. It also assists in collagen production and can even help reduce inflammatory skin issues. Now studies keep coming out over and over again, some as recently as this last year, that continue to prove that vitamin C, especially the right kind of vitamin C, topical product to use on your skin can make a vast difference in how healthy and youthful your skin looks. And when I say the right kind of vitamin C, I'm talking about strengths and 
ingredients. So l ascorbic acid is the most potent type of vitamin C and at a 15% or higher level does the most for anti-aging effects for your skin. However, it doesn't work for everyone because some people have very sensitive skin even to vitamin C. So sodium ascorbyl phosphate is an alternative. It's slower. It's more stable. It does work well, but it takes a little bit longer for you to see the benefits. Now I've been testing out Dermatology's 15% l ascorbic acid vitamin C serum. This is a really good one. I also talk about the ordinary and their whole range of vitamin C serum products that they have from 30% L-ascorbic acid all the way down to the milder sodium ascorbyl phosphate versions of vitamin C. So again, I will link to those in the video description box below so you can check them out after we're done here today. Now, another thing that your skin can benefit from because it produces less of these as we get older are the amino acids that it needs to produce healthy skin cells. And that would be peptides or pentapeptides. And what peptides do, again, they're amino acids, is they are able to be absorbed down into the layers of the skin and they assist in collagen production, the healing process that goes on in the upper levels of your skin. They help promote the health and longer life of your skin cells. So they really are a big benefit as well as they provide some hydration to your skin. And again, we produce less of these as we get older, of course. So supplying them topically is a great benefit to your skin. Now, I like the Inky List collagen peptides. Those of you who follow the channel know I talk about these all the time. There are many, many brands out there that are just great. Just make sure when you look on the label that you see Matrixyl 3000 in the ingredient list because that is a high-powered blend of peptides and pentapeptides that are going to give you the most boost in your skin for the money you're going to spend. Now, another wonderful effect of aging, in fact, it starts in our late 20s and it continues throughout the rest of our life, is the slowing down of the exfoliation process of the surface of our skin. Simply said, we don't lose those old dead skin cells as quickly as we do when we're much younger, leading to dull skin, larger looking pores, that coarse texture, darker age spots, hyperpigmentation looks darker because that old skin's not coming off. So we have to assist it. And there are several ways to add an exfoliation step to your skincare routine that starts with light daily exfoliation mechanically with something like a buff puff sponge, which is a gentle way of removing the old dead skin cells on the very surface with your face wash every day, to the skincare acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid, all the way to deeper skin peels like the one that I am doing that make use of skincare acids, high potency glycolic acid, phenol, and TCA type of peels. Now, if you're gonna go for the deeper skin peel like I do, you need to see a licensed esthetician or dermatologist because they know what they're doing, they know what strength to apply to your skin, and they will be able to assist you in the recovery process, which is very, very important. These type of peels go much deeper, and if you're not careful, you can get infections and discolorations in the skin. Now let's talk about the only FDA-approved treatment for fine lines, wrinkles, and age pigmentation in the skin. And that would be the whole family of retinoids from prescription strength tretinoin, which you guys know as Retin-A, all the way down to the over-the-counter drugstore brands of retinol moisturizers and now retinol to hide moisturizers. Trust me when I tell you that this one topical out of all the things you could be doing to your skin can be the most helpful in reversing and stopping the process of aging in the surface of the skin. Not only is it well absorbed by the skin to help create more collagen, providing actual increase in thickness of the skin and firmness of the skin, it also helps replace damaged skin cells with newer, healthier skin cells. And over time, it can actually change the entire structure of the surface of your skin to make it look much more youthful, not to mention getting rid of fine lines and wrinkles. It really is great. The problem is, that tretinoin is very, very strong. And a lot of people can't tolerate it and have to go through a process of acclimation. Some people are never able to tolerate that strength, but luckily we have the retinol moisturizers, which are stabilized, encapsulated, and in some cases, straight out retinaldehyde, which are much gentler to the skin and yet still provide similar benefits over time. So retinol, super, super important. And speaking of moisturizers, I'm gonna add those into this list because not everybody understands exactly what to do with moisturizers. If you have oily skin, you still need a light daily water-based, oil-free, fragrance-free moisturizer to help keep the moisture level in your skin balanced 
and to reduce the amount of oil your skin is producing. Obviously for normal and drier skin types, a light moisturizer during the day is very appropriate. And at night, if you have very dry skin, using a night cream that is full of ceramides will help rebuild that lipid layer, that skin barrier, which is very important to hold moisture in and help your products work better during the day. Which leads me to the most important step that you could be doing, should be doing today, this moment, moving forward, whether you've ever done it before or not, and that is making sure you protect your skin from the damaging effects of the sun. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you guys don't use sunscreen or some sort of clothing or hats or glasses, think about how much you squint when you're out in the light, and that includes me in front of a computer, making sure that you're wearing sunglasses so that the dynamic wrinkles that we have when we smile and squint don't become static wrinkles and stick around. Also making sure you're using an SPF of 30, especially if you're over 30, so that you're protecting your skin all day, every day from the effects of the sun. And that includes when you're indoors because long wave UV light can get through the windows and attack your skin. So yes, your skin does have some ability to protect your body from the effects of the sun. Obviously we're surface dwellers. We don't live in caves or underground, but I think we did used to live in caves. But anyway, the point is, please be sure that you're using sunscreen. It can be mineral. I prefer that, or it can be chemical, but it needs to be 30 above and it needs to be part of your daily routine. I just can't emphasize it enough. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Have I told you, you need to wear sunscreen because if you're not, none of these steps are going to be able to provide the value to your skin and you that you're looking for. Now that you've got the basics down, be sure and check out this video coming up next so that you can perfect your own personal skincare routine and get your best skin ever. Love you guys. Stay beautiful. And I will see you over on the next video. Got a skincare question you want answered? Just type Chris Gibson and the topic in the YouTube search bar and the video will come up.